Hello everyone. Hi. Let's utilize these holidays into exploring our inner artist. Today we're going to be making a simple landscape painting. Let's, so get, let's started. get started. So, we learned distance concept today like uh, in a landscape the things that are closer to us appear bigger and the things that are far away from us appear to be smaller. So, Hunar, can you give me an example of something that you've seen that it, when it's near to you, it's a, it looks bigger mm -hmm. and if it's far, it looks smaller. Okay. An airplane? Because when you look yeah. from the airport standing, it's when it's just kind of getting up in the sky. Looks like it's holding so many people. It's so it's big. Bigger, yes. Yeah. But when it's in the sky, it looks so tiny. Yes. So in reality, it's bigger. But when it's far away, it looks smaller to you. So we'll utilize the same distance concept in this painting today. So we're going to, let's say we make some trees, a basic landscape. So the trees that are far away from us appear to be very smaller and thinner and the trees that are near to us will be, appear to be bigger and thicker. So let's get started. Okay, so the material that we need is simple acrylic paints. Uh, we'll need four colors. So we'll take some white, we'll mix some black and white and take some gray and some black and also some red. We need basic paint brushes if you have and some water and some cotton balls so let's get started so the first step is we'll dip our cotton balls in water and squeeze out all the water that we have make it ready and keep it on your color number one that is white second cotton ball dip it in water count three one two three and squeeze out all the water that you have color number Two has your card number two ready. Now, third, we don't need, let's say we'll take only two. We we'll use the paintbrush for the black paint. So, hold on. are your cartons ready? Yep, let's get started. Okay, so what is the first step? Okay, so the first step is we just draw a basic line Leave the sky part bigger, bigger, and the background, the land, smaller. So we'll pick up the cotton number one. Let's take white cotton and above the line that you've drawn, a plain line that you've drawn, we start with dab technique. So touch and pick, touch and pick. So what I'll do is I'll make four or five lines with my cotton number one. Let's get started. So just dab, touch and pick. Touch, 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 no squishing, squashing, no other technique, only touch, 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 touch. And we we'll take a little more white paint and my second line of white. Let's not leave any space in between. And yeah, my line number two. Now, and line number three, my cotton it already has a lot of white paint, so I'm not taking more paint. And Line number three, and line number four. It's not visible because it's white, but yeah, it's visible to me. It might not be visible in the video, but yeah, it's showing the color, it's showing the effect. And the fourth, fifth line. So I'll make it to the half, I'll make it white. Now, when my white part is over, my next step is just finish if any spaces are left. Now, I'll put back my cotton number one on my color number one. I'll pick up my gray cotton. This is a crucial part. We have to merge two colors, white and gray. So, what we'll do is we'll pick up the gray color cotton and we'll do, a, above the white, we'll do a little segment of gray. Nicely. Put it back. Pick up my white color cotton. Pick up my white color cotton and on the line of joining gray and white I will just do it with a very soft touch go this side go that side go this side go that side go this side go that side merge the gray and the white if you see any dirty effect just touch 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 with the finger put the cotton back on white color again pick up the gray cotton 
a little way, put it back, pick up the white cotton again, on the line of joining, touch, touch, touch. cotton back and if there are any dirty spots just touch touch with the finger to merge again my my gray color cotton a little segment and my white color cotton put it on the line of joining go this side go that side go this side go that side go this side go that side and wherever I see some joining spots, I'll touch my finger to merge the two colors. So we should not be able to see where the gray color ended and from where the white started. It should be nicely merged. Again, my gray cotton, my last segment, we'll do it in small segments only. My lighter color cotton, on the line of joining, go this side, go that side, and put it back and touch with the finger if there are any untidy spots. Now I will cover all the above section with my gray cotton. The color is finished. Let's make some more color. Let's make some gray and some white to make some more gray and yeah and now just finish the above part, leftover part of the paper with your gray dabbing touch 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 only dabbing no other technique to give it a cloudy tree background trees effect so you just touch 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 keep touching 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 touch 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 keep doing that pick up some more paint paint picking is also by touch 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 and applying is also by touch 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 that technique so we finish the entire top section with touch and pick with the gray color My top section is complete with the gray touch and pick and my lower section is complete with the white touch and pick. I will do the land now. So I pick up my white color cotton and let's start with straight swipe. Straight swipe. Let's pick up some gray in this. Straight swipes. Some gray and white. Straight swipes. So as it comes down, the color can get more darker. Straight, straight swipes. Straight swipes, straight swipes. Don't stop in between. Straight swipes. It's a very easy and a very quick going painting. So, yeah. I'm done with my swipes now. The trees. We we'll like some trees. You we'll take any paintbrush that you have and just dip it in water, set the brush. Now, just take a little white, very light paint, very, very less amount of paint. And how do we do the trees? So we start from the line. So the trees that are very far away from us appear to be very thinner and smaller. So we don't take the trees that are back to the top. They would not reach the top, so just a little while, make thin one stroke trees and leave it till somewhere above the starting of the gray part. So make a few trees, very thin strokes, and in one stroke make a tree. Don't stop in between. Yeah, so now I'll take a little darker color. 
dark color and now the trees that are closer to me a little more closer to me will start from a little down and we go up and taller taller than the previous one so the water if your brush seems to be very dry the trees have to be straight okay gray start and be slow be nice you can add a little more gray to it your trees are not visible add some gray bigger so, so the trees that are back are very light trees that are a little more ahead to us start from a little down and go a little up and a little more darker than the light gray that we used for the previous ones so thicker and taller thicker and taller just correct these just redo these put them water take a little gray and Now, the trees that are even more closer to us will be a little more darker. Let's add a little more black and start from more, like from below and go up. Some more gray, start from below, go a little more up and I think I'll make just one more with the gray and I'm done. Now, the trees that are very close to us are even more darker. So we take black and they will start from even more below the previous one. And we go up. Stroke, they go till the top. Dip in water, set the brush, take the paint. And you can add some more branches to the ones that are closer to you. Take the water, set the brush, take black. Let's start moving. So, the bottom has to be thicker and as you rise up, your tree becomes thinner. So the brush now just wipe all the paint that you have in your brush. Just take a little gray and just correct the bottom of all the trees. And just add a little shadow of my trees. We take any any dirty brush that we have and we add some leaf effects to the trees so just touch 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 you don't need to add any paint and over your the trees that are very close to you will have some 
leaves it and let us take some gray and white mixed and just add some touch 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 you could also do it with q-tips just take a few q-tips together and then just touch 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 so just add it over the branches of the trees Add some more trees, some more branches from below, going down. Some gray, and in the end, when I'm done with adding the touch 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 leafy effect on the trees now i'll take some red and just take some red and add my red touch up to doing great and just a little and some red Perfect. Um, now you can use this brush and I take one more of the dirty brush that I have and pick up some red again and just a soft touch of and yeah so it looks done and you can add this brush so yes my easy painting is done and you want to show yours or not yep. I done yeah. so yes so it's an easy painting just try it at home and share your pictures with us mm -hmm. show yours yeah good job good job done so enjoy your holidays and we keep sharing more videos mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.